Live from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri, MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Lance Lynn. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. High fly ball out to left field. Donovan has a beat on it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one away. Here's the lineup for the Reds. Batting second, a really important guy for them, Ellie De La Cruz. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Kyle Leahy. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Two outs, base is empty. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And that one hammered way back there. And that one is out of here. A gigantic blast. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So two away with nobody on. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. Slings it across. That's out number three. Red strike first with the solo blast. It's now 1-0. Back here with my pal Singy on the hill for the Reds, Nick Lodolo. Singy, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Alec Burleson getting ready to hit. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Hit in the air, center field. Fairchild should have this one. 
and makes the grab. That's out number two. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Zingy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these players even during batting practice when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, they step right in and continue with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. Now this one's crushed down the line. Again, foul ball. You know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is left. Right side, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, and he's in with a stand-up double. Here's Nolan Gorman. Out to short, De La Cruz. Zips it to first. That's the third out. Inning over. One hit, one left. It's on to inning number two in St. Louis. It's the Reds one and the Cardinals nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium, top of the second, digging in, Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson. Got the back going too soon, it's strike two. Smoked on the ground a second. Gorman throws oh. on to first. One up, one down. That is good. The second baseman. Jonathan. Jonathan India at the plate. Inside almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. One gone runner at first. And now the right fielder, Will Benson. And it's even up. India, the base runner at first with one out. Way inside. And yeah, the right hander deals. Line drive, base hit. Indy around second, heads for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One away, runners at first and third. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Santiago Espinal. Two on, one out. And now two and two. Leahy checks on first. Benson back easily. 
Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. 2-2 two, two down. And another ball. And a 3-2. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Carlson makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And they lead by two. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Stuart Fairchild. Two outs. Misses Ball, off the plate. And it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And this is inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Reds two and the Cardinals nothing. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. We head to the bottom of the second. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. That oh, misses that's off the outside edge. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him swinging. And one out now. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss. And I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Now it's Matt Carpenter. One down, base is empty. Oh, that's just out. And that one sliced foul. And a pitch. Inside, just missed. That one is ball inside four. ball four. Perfect. And I mean, oh, so close. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. California kid. Played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. Kicks and deals. Pulls that one foul. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. 
the count two and one and a foul ball. The Cardinals trailing by two bottom half of inning number two. At the belt and fires. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. The cards leave one, and they're down two nothing. There's a new arm on the mound, Andre Palante. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters gonna have to pick it up early if they're gonna have any chance. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Now it's the DH, TJ Friedel. This one popped up. And there's one down. Well, he gave the butt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. And now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. And the righty deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. One out, base is empty. Got him looking for the K. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds. And now the count is even. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. Right handed reliever. Ripped on a line. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Nobody left for Cincinnati as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Pedro Pajes. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And a good eye there. That's a little bit low. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Back to the top of the lineup. Now Mason Wynn. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. In the air, right field, Benson. As this one sized up, hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Now that right fielder, Alex Burleson. Now the number two hitter, Alec Burleson. The Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick. Runner takes off. That one to first. Candelario steps on the bag. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Pajes at second with two down. line out towards center. Fairchild pulls it down and that will end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail it here 2 nothing. Back 
back here in St. Louis. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Spencer Steer. The 1-1. One, one. And downstairs. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. Three and one now. Right through there for a strike. Thank you. Here's a rocket out to left. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. The 1 1. Good no, sorry, eye in that spot. Next offering in there for a strike. And out two and two. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. India. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. Fastball for a strike. Three. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. And the Reds go one, two, three. Reds go down quietly, but they're on top two nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth, stepping in the long ball threat, Nolan Gorman. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. So a man on base to start the inning. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. So up next, Brendan Donovan. Here's a 1-1. Now he breaks his bat. Makes the grab one away. Carpenter. Matt Carpenter next up for the Cardinals. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Left hand hitter waits. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is Dylan Carlson. The cards down by a pair. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Two outs. That one not close. And the count is two and two. On a line, base hit. 
Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. We often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. So two on with two away, and that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. And now two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Late on that fastball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit. Slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss. And that is that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. We go to the top of the fifth. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. The wind of the pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Very frustrating right there okay. as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. That's down and in, a slider missed. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. John King, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Helsley getting cranked up as well. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Bounce to third. Crawford sends it across to first, and the first two set down on the top of the fifth. The center fielder, Stewart Fairchild. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Stuart Fairchild. The 1-1. One -one. Nope. That's inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straight. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Reds down in order. But they hold the 2 nothing lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the Cardinals catcher, Pedro Pajes. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Bounce to the right side. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One, two down. Good job to fight that one off. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Into Candelario's glove. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Alec Burleson next up for the Cardinals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. 
Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They trail things here, 2 nothing. New arm on the mound for the Cardinals, John King. The southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. Yeah, there's the strike. One ball, two strikes. That one the other way. Tosses across oh. the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now batting the shortstop, Ellie. De Here's La the Cruz. shortstop at the play, Ellie De La Cruz. The Reds signed Ellie in 2018, but it took a few years for him to stand out in their minor league system. In 2021, he went from an unranked prospect to a player on a fast track to the majors. Few scouts out there believe a growth spurt helped change Ellie's entire career. This one in the air. Crawford settles under it. Out number two man he just couldn't lay off right there those high fastballs they just now look that, really good the because they're eye level Jamer. but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to and now Jamer Candelario he had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning yeah boogie didn't waste any time in this one the solo shot really got his team going and he's looking for more right here two down nobody on and we're the top half of the sixth you know, the Reds were lucky they even noticed De La Cruz. They sent a scout to the Dominican Republic to watch a different player, but Ellie was playing in the same program. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Hard of the order, three, four, five coming up. It's the Reds two and the Cardinals nothing. Back here in St. Louis, and now the first baseman, Paul first Goldschmidt. Baseman. 3-1 is on the way. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Gorman. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slug is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important with getting back into this ballgame. Into the outfield base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. The pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. On the ground, two ball. Candelario toss to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Matt Carpenter, next up for the Cardinals. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Now two balls and a strike. Ball for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Buck Farmer appears to be getting loose. Suter getting loose as well. Oh. 
Next okay. pitch inside. Three and two now. Dylan Carlson up next for the Cardinals. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Two outs. Swinging a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. And now the lefty, and ball four to a board. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Nick Lodolo departs to run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. So they bring on the veteran Nick Martinez and if you dig into his walk rate his numbers are really impressive he's really filled up the strike zone this season so these batters better be ready to swing the bats so two outs with runners on the corners and up next for St. Louis Dylan Carlson runners on first and third two away. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. <laughs> two on, two outs. We got a foot count. Brandon Crawford up next. See another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So the cards strand a couple. They're still down. It's two zip. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Brian Helsley. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's going to be Spencer Steer. Here comes a pitch. And that's a little bit high. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a strike on the outside edge. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Three. Swings and misses. And one gone. Well, we'll see it more commonly in a the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Next to hit, Tyler Stevenson. There's the strike. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Kittredge getting loose out there. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. On the ground to first, and he handles it. it himself for the out. Up next in Cincinnati, the second baseman, Jonathan 
So two down now, and here is Jonathan India. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. And one, two, three, go the Reds. They're up to nothing. Back here at Bush Stadium, here's the third baseman, Brandon Crawford. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on that one out to right and that is a foul ball here's a one two gets a piece and stays alive left hand batter waits ball that's off the plate Stays alive. The line to kick the pitch. And yeah, that skips into there. On the ground to third. Finds its way through base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Just a great at bat right there. Saw now a lot of pitches. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now up for St. Louis, Pedro Pajes. That one hit to right. Under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Now batting, the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first. It... Oh, nice stop on a slide. Yeah. Espinal over to second, on to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. New pitcher for the Reds, Brent Suter. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. Brent Suter. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Alec Burleson. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base. And that's a big number. I mean, man. He really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Missed with a changeup, and the count is even two and two. That's a really good take. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. And we're back, ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Will Benson. The right fielder, number 30, 
Will Benson. Righty delivers. Pitch Ball misses there. Down. Two balls and a strike. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Andrew Kittredge preparing to come on if needed. The 2 1. Hey. A big swing and a miss. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. First out in the top of the eighth. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve. And it was the same result as the pitch before. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Right hander deals. Down Just three, missed. Two. Outside, nope. and that ball is ball four. four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Man at first, Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. And the pitch. That two misses balls, the zone. Two, two balls, two strikes. And he chases that one. Two away down. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So the batting order turns over. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Upstairs. Two outs. The count is full. In the dirt, but kept close. Runner holds, and it's a full count. Kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. New pitcher for the Cardinals, JoJo Romero. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Next to hit, Ellie De La Cruz. Two on, two outs. That's the third. Crawford throws the first in time. And that is that.
Back here in St. Louis. And here's the first baseman, Paul first Goldschmidt. Baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Great that time, and it's strike two. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The Redbirds trailing by two here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him swinging. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. It makes me think he's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much that swing. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. To first, and he beats it. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Runner at first with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. The tying run at the plate. Ball that Just off the outside edge. And a count two and one. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Next one is off the plate. Counts full three and two. Dylan Carlson in the St. Louis on deck circle. Tying run at the plate. Foul ball and it remains a full count. So now two on and two outs. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. So they turn things over to the righty, Buck Farmer. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Substitution being made at first, and here's the pinch runner, Michael Ciani. So two down, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Donovan, the lead runner out at second. Siani on at first with two down. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. Nicely done. They get out of the jam. Jamer Candelario. The wind of the pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out, number one. The left field, seven. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. Steer. 
This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Swings through that one out in front that time. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Two outs. Base is empty. Tyler Stevenson digs in now. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. The wide, the kick, and the one two. And another ball. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Burleson going back. Oh! So he blasts one out the other way, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3 0. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Base is empty with two away. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. Hit in the air, left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One for the Reds on the homer. It's now 3-0. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Alexis Diaz. Well, walks now, have been a big red. issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. Diaz. Here's Brandon Lee Crawford. For the Cardinals, the third baseman, Brandon Crawford. Here's a 1 1. On the ground, right side. Candelario takes it himself. One up, one down. Now batting, catcher, Pedro Pajes. Pedro Pajes, next up for the Cardinals. The Reds leading by three. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Outside low, three and one. And he walked him. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now batting. Shortstop. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. And a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right-handed reliever.